Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you. Hi. There is this testimony of uh, Johnson Suleiman that I saw. Um, and I was like, how is this possible? How come we are not sharing and celebrating this type of wonderful feat? You know, it is not good now. It is not nice that... Uh, the only thing we celebrate, the only thing, no, not celebrate actually, the only thing we we talk about and we share is when some persons come out to, to talk about him and all those things that they have said. He has actually said they are not true. You see, when um, people like Otobo, somebody said it was an Otobo gate, came out and they lied against him. Um, you cannot see my face now, so that lie and the truth behind those three stories allegedly <laughs> like uh, Adola will say. So all of them allegedly, uh, if they uh, the allegedly truths, allegedly lies. Now and the, we all listened to it. We talked about it, and suddenly there is a victory over Satan. Victory over Mamed, Mamed, victory over daughters of Jezebel. And nobody has, in fact, forwarded this thing to me for me to celebrate this man of God. Hello? Yes, you're going to listen to Johnson Suleiman tell us how he was able to escape one of his spiritual daughters who happened to be a giver, but what he she wanted to do with him was actually not what he could do with a spiritual daughter if you are there hello shout back at me and tell me yes i hear you sir in the comment section because this testimony is wonderful but then don't just run with this one wait for me at the comment section so that we discuss these things very very well I'm so impressed, I'm so impressed. We're going to look at it and uh, talk about it well. Thank you and God bless you. Now, if you are a member of Omega Fire Ministry, please share so that people who have been talking about your man of God, you know, talking nonsense about your man of God, we know that those things are not true. Uh, this one is more devilish than even the ones that said, he, he came after them by, the, by himself. So share and God bless you. I'll be seeing you at the end of this wonderful, wonderful testimony from Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Happy viewing. Something happened some time ago. So there was a lady that was giving. She was a very good giver. And the truth is this. When you have a giver who is a good giver, if she's not in church, you will know. Uh, you just know as a pastor. It's a pastoral team. <laughs> she will walk to me every service and put an envelope in my hand. So, for three, three services, uh -uh, there was no one. I said, uh, our sister is not in the house. She was a secretary to the richest man. And I now decided, I said, what's going on? She's sick. She can't walk, she can't move. A younger sister came and told me, I said, eh? So I said, no! <laughs> so I went there. They told me that the lady was sick, that she's inside the room. I carried my big Bible. As big as the Ark of Noah. As I entered inside, they locked the door from behind me. Bam! There was no light, so I was looking for. As I, the switch came on, I saw my sister in the Lord. She rose from the bed like somebody rising from the dead. She was wearing nothing. The door was locked. He said, I know you won't come until I tell you I'm sick. I can't even get the signs. All the signs I've been given. My Bible was in my hand. Door was locked. Mountain was standing before Muhammad. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I had my Bible. And it was, you don't like it. Sit and say, correct. Oh, you know, I'll tell you the truth. The devil says, see fresh fish. Satan said, drop your Bible. Wait to be Bible. 
The locked door. Now we Ah. I had my Bible. My hand was almost dropping. Uh, I go tell you true. <laughs> my hand was almost dropping. I said, mm, 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 mm. This is one that's called me daddy. This is where my Christian journey will end. Is this where my walk with God will end? I started dragging. I had to pass through window. I turned net. 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 You know window net. Enter. This leg refused to. They were pulling the leg. Somehow I succeeded. I ran. I went there. My friend, let's go. Nine months later, she died of HIV. Interesting. Clap your hands for the Lord, somebody. Can you shout hallelujah? That was actually a very big escape. Marvelous escape. You see, I, I really begin to look at, um, you know, ladies from the stories of uh, our man of God here. Seems like it is ladies that are more, they are giving most, they give more in his ministry. And we can understand it because, uh, you know, ladies are very emotional. Sisters can be very emotional and they give very well. You remember the story of last time where it was better for 1,000 stingy people to have died than for a sister, who one person who was giving so much to have died. And uh, because of the giving, she was not permitted to die. So here again, we have another sister who now became an agent of the devil proper. Thank God for the grace of God because, yeah, he was very, 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 very truthful to the congregation. And that is what we want. He was not pretending as if he was, um, you know, an angel, Angel Gabriel, no Angel Sule in the house, you see. But there are a few things that are contained in this story that I will just Ask it as a question. If you have the answer, please drop for me in the comment section. One was that the door was locked. Immediately he entered. Does it mean that the lady in question uh, had this plan? Oh, that is very bad. So she planned with her own sister to trap the man of God. That is very, very devilish. That is one. Two. Now, in the house, there was no light. So how was it that he was able to picture or figure out where the, the switch light probably was? It's either by trial and error, you know, he was able to do that, to figure that out. Or that probably he was, he was, uh, he used to visit that place, at least visitation, visitation, visiting, you know, the sister, because the sister said, I know you will not come. If I if I didn't be, pretend to be sick, I know you will not come. You get it? So is either the switch came on by him trying things and you know when you come into a house, sometimes the the switch may be by the right after the door or towards the left. All right. So probably he tried that and he was able to find where the switch was. But what devil made the sister of this lady to close the door? That was what they agreed. It was a terrible conspiracy. That is one. Secondly, he went through the window after coming back to himself and refusing the urge and the temptation to get down with the lady who offered herself as a burnt sacrifice, burnt offering, you know, burnt offering. He taught the window net. I began to also reason. I began to reason because, uh, before I forget, that lady was a secretary to the richest man. Was it Elon Musk or Warren Buffett? Because we don't know which of the richest men. So, and the, the house that you can tear the net of the window and escape through the window, meaning that that house was not, the window was not having burglary proof. And um, I don't know any modern houses built today that would not have burglary proof. Well, maybe there are no thieves in that community. So the builder of the house just built it 
just like that and uh, uh, probably because uh, it has been established in the spirit that a day like that was going to come so for the servant of god to escape such terrible conspiracy they were instructed by the spirit not to add burglary proof to the window so that uh, when that kind of a thing happened there could be a way of escape so i'm asking question does it mean um even the house my father built 1956 the burglary proof are still there they have burglary proof and they are still there so i don't know maybe maybe it is um the maybe the sister was so modest she doesn't want to live in a very good house she lived in a mud house that had just windows but no burglary proof and they managed to put mosquito nets there i'm just asking questions so and i don't know where this happened if in your neighborhood the people are now building houses without burglary proof let us know it, it, there's no law anywhere that said people must put burglary proof anyway but just that i'm saying that in this day and time burglary proof you know becomes one of the um photocom in houses today so probably that house may not have had burglary proof so please if you know that kind of a house put it in the comment section and i would like you to share these videos to appreciate god over the life of our brother who the devil wanted to afflict with the terrible sickness of hiv and wow probably the woman had hiv and she knew she had hiv and she wanted to transfer it to man of god so that the two of them would actually go down with this thing and nine months after she died how could she have actually died maybe she stopped taking her drugs and uh, that was suicidal i don't know if hiv can kill within the space of nine months obviously she was not looking sick you know because if she was looking sick everybody would have known that something was wrong with her and she pretended to be sick that was how apostle came to the house so who and how when and how did she contract hiv she probably had it before that time and was taking her her drugs you know very well but that day that um, that thing happened she became so sad became suicidal and decided that there was no need to live again so well we thank god for the life of apostle thank god thank god but those questions i asked i beg if you know the answer please give me in the comment section that was wonderful you you dear you that thing you want to type that wait 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 that thing you want to type would you have been able to escape that kind of a, person, a thing if you were in his shoes and he escaped you are not you are not thanking god my friend share this video share it and let's celebrate this wonderful feat jerry god bless you as you share in jesus name amen i'll be seeing you in the next video don't forget to share till then from me to you shalom